economic progress with environment is a social responsibility. Here we are taking example of a special economic zone of Mangalore City. It is a marathon task balancing industrial boom with conservation efforts, basic human needs, and protecting ecological unity. To ensure this is happening, we drove from Mangalore City towards National Highway 66 running by the western coast. We drove Highway 66 and turned east towards the town Kady Pala, where the industries exist side by side rustic villages. We see the lush green meadows, coconut palms standing out, mango trees in full bloom and flowering and rich greeny all around. We see mosques, temples and churches as we drove through the village road. Well meddled with concrete, every nook and corner we drove through. I get an impression we are amidst a garden town breathing fresh oxygenated atmosphere. You see a lot of activity, people traveling in bicycles, cars, buses, and material-laden trucks of builders, oil tankers moving around, but the greenery and natural surroundings appear intact. We see electrical cables running overhead and water tanks connected to the distribution pipes, making a villager life comfortable. This area is also called Katie Pala, which means in the local lawn gauge, resting pool of the Indian bison. This might have happened a century ago. The rich green foliage and the undergrowth depicts the wilderness within the outskirts of the city. The wilderness can be seen within the compound wall of the petrochemical industry there. It might harbor wild animals and once believed to be the haunt of a pair of leopards.
Thank you for watching.